In this uh, concept bind, we are going to look at how an excitation of a die can capture energy and how this energy can be used to make products, for example, to make hydrogen. If we look at the energy levels for our die, we can see there's a ground level as zero, an excited level as one, and there's a gap of energy between the two which coincides more or less with the absorption in the visible UV visible. Let's say we have an absorption energy here of 1.2, sorry, 1.4 electron volts. For the reduction reaction, we have an electron from vacuum falling down into our energy. And so if I look at the molecule without any photo excitation, we can see from vacuum it falls into S1. If I look at the molecule with excitation, the electron falls much deeper. So there's more energy released and it's easier to reduce the molecule. It's easier by exactly 1.4 electron volts. And that's a number we have to remember for a moment. Now look at oxidation reactions. For oxidation, we are removing an electron from the dye molecule. So if I take the molecule without photo excitation on the left, removing the electron takes a certain amount of energy, which is linked to SU, the level in the ground level. But if I have the excited molecule, it's much easier to oxidize. So from this we can see both the reduction is easier by 1.4 electron volt and the oxidation is easier by 1.4 electron volts. Now we have to directly link this to the ability of the molecule to get oxidized or reduced. And so here an example, our dye molecule has got an oxidation potential mm -hmm. which is at 1.1 volt on the scale of the normal hydrogen electrode, NHE. And on the molecule also has a reduction potential without photo excitation, a reduction potential of minus 0.7 volt versus NHE. What happens if I excite the molecule? Both get easier. So the oxidation will be easier. It moves negative. We have an excited state oxidation potential of 1.1 minus 1.4 volt which equals 0 point, minus 0 0.3 volts versus energy. The reduction is easier, so it changes from minus 0 0.7, and it goes, um, the reduced potential is minus 0 0.7 plus 1.4 volts is plus 0 0.7 volt. And so now we can compare these two uh, voltages with the process we are interested in. So say we are reducing protons to hydrogen, that would require oxidation of the dye. Oxidation of the dye in the excited state happens at minus 0.3 volts. We know that for one molar acid, the reduction of protons to hydrogen will happen at zero volts. And so therefore, our reducing agent, our excited dye, is strong enough. We have minus 0.3 volts, and so it will produce hydrogen. On the other hand, if I took the formation of oxygen, which I have to compare with the reduction potential of the excited state, we can see we have a potential of 0.7 volt available, but in one molar acid, I need 1.23 volts to make oxygen, and so therefore this dye is not able to produce oxygen at, a, at pH zero. 